Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here and welcome to, welcome to, I, I just came up with, this is a really good thing. Uh, welcome to the loot, the weekly loot for week one. So, uh, that's how I'm going to do it from now on. I've always had a hard time wondering, like, how to describe it. You know, like, should we talk about it? Because uh, this is version 5.0, right? But then tomorrow there's going to be version 5.0 content update. And that's like a really long title. That's like saying, you know, like, uh, this is the weekly loot for version 5.0 content update. And it's like weekly reset. That's like a really long title. So from now on, I'm going to be talking about the loot for each week. So this is version 5.0 week one. I like it. All right. So uh, week one, what do we have? Uh, and I know that right now week one is going to end tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow, day after, day after. So in a couple of days, uh, we're going to have that. But I kind of want to talk about what I'm thinking about the first week about the loot, uh, about the uh, what's it called? The the weekly loot, the, the store, um, the items, what I think is going to happen, my opinion, a couple things and my suggestions. So right now, the biggest question that I keep getting or the biggest two questions are, am I going to get the Walloper? And do I think that the Reperk, um, the Reperk, the Perk Ups, the all of those are going to come back and also the legendary flux in the event items and yes i do believe they are going to come back i think we're going to be getting that um i think we're going to be getting both the flux is going to come back i think we're going to get more of the reperk and everything i think the reason why this one kind of came off tilt and off balance was because of the fact that we got the update on a day we normally don't get it but that was because they were matching it with the battle royale season that's a whole other issue um and that kind of that thing so i kind of feel like our first week we were kind of like eh, off you know so once i've said that let me talk about what i'm going to be getting right now i have 4811 gold i've gotten that just in a couple of days of grinding thank you very much to everyone who's helped me grind grund grind out ground 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 we ground that out uh, so let's take a look first at the weekly items the weekly items i highly recommend to get the legendary flux which i'm going to get right now uh always worth getting legendary flux so i got the legendary flux right there um what else we have we have a uh, epic stuff the epic stuff i don't really get unless it's the upgrading things but the pure drops of rain the lightning bottle eyes of storms and storm shards i'm kind of okay right now on it i've got 828 pure drops of rain 7035 lightning bottle 297 eye of the storms and 37 storm shards so i'm kind of okay right now I don't really need if you're starting out I highly recommend you get at least a pure drops of rain because pure drops of rain go really fast especially when you're leveling leveling up items it goes by really fast which actually I might get it if I have enough at the end of this video because I'm going to be leveling up a lot of stuff really soon we got Pathfinder Jess rare flux epic flux again if you want to do that go ahead um oh the armory slot did I get it I haven't gotten armor slot yet Armory slots, 100%. I am going to be buying every single armory slot every single week that I can from now on. Armory slot is bay. Armory slots are bay. Okay, definitely. Uh, and then let's take a look at the weekly items. We've got the Copper Siege Breaker and the Floor Launcher. If you still don't have any of these weapons, yes, I definitely recommend that you get them. Remember, the daily coins, the way you get daily coins is you go to your quest, you check out your daily, your daily, uh, your daily things, and you just do these. Um, I actually need to get one of these done by today. I should get all three done. Uh, but yeah, that's how you do them. You just check out your daily quest. You get a, uh, like for this one, I'm going to get 50 V bucks and hundred daily coins, 50 V bucks, hundred daily coins. So right there, if I do all three, I got myself 150 V bucks and 300 daily coins. Now for someone like me that I'm not really using them for anything. Uh, you know what? I could get a copper siege breaker because why not? Maybe I could get a really good copper siege, another good copper siege breaker, uh, and just go from there. But if you still don't have one, if you're start just starting out this game, this is a completely free way of getting stuff. All you have to do is do missions, complete your daily missions. You get one daily mission every single day. You can get 700 coins in one week and you can buy yourself one of these. So really good. Um, like I said, if you don't pull a lot of llamas, if you don't have a lot of time to play a lot this game, then yeah, I think the Copper Siege Breaker would not be a bad idea. There is a big thing though. There is a big thing about all this. Um, I think that 
if you are able to play a little more time than normal or if you can play a lot my recommendation is still to go into the map find the ones that give you road uh, trip tickets and just do a lot of those missions okay uh collect a lot farm a lot of road trip tickets from the game because then you can just open road trip llamas and hope to get good weapons there you could also get copper siege breakers from there sorry legendary siege breakers from there so there's a uh, several different ways of approaching this game but again if you want it i think it's not a bad use of your daily coins I'm still holding out though. I'm still saving my daily coins because I'm still wondering if they're going to give us something special someday. I have 7,500 daily coins. Um, maybe one day they're going to do some special event or something where you can use a lot of daily coins. I don't know. Okay. That's the weekly items. So let's talk a little bit about the event items. These items are here to stay for the entirety of the event, which is still going to be what? Two months more? Ooh goodness uh there's gonna be a lot of time there's a lot of time still to go in this event so more than likely we are gonna have this for quite a while that's why i'm not gonna buy the copper walloper right now okay uh i'm not gonna get the walloper i'm not gonna get the walloper yet I've seen it in action. I've seen what it can do. And actually, you know what? If someone out there who's on my friends has one that's maybe at level 82 or 106 that wants to let me try it, I'd be that'd be great. I would really appreciate that. Um, but because it's an event item, which is going to be here for the entirety of the event, eh, I'm not really that, you know, anxious to get it yet. You know, I can wait. I can wait a little bit. I can wait till the end of the event to get it or later on. And it also doesn't say that it's going to be leaving anytime soon. Uh, armory slot, you know what's going to happen here. I'm going to get every single one. Can I get every single one of these? I don't think I can get every single one of these. Will this go faster? It doesn't go faster, does it? Oh my goodness, we have to click here. There's a hundred of these left. How much are they? I didn't even see how much they are. Come on. Okay, so it's going to cost 2500 to get all these. I'm going to get every single one of these. Yeah. Um. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe I'm clicking. There we go. Okay. So 100 armory slots for 2500 You know we're getting it. 100% um that this is one of the things that i recommend you get the most especially if you're going to be playing the game as much as i do armory slots are very important uh, i'm up to 815 again now <sighs> nice but you get filled on your inventory really fast i wish that from the very beginning of this whole thing i would have spent money on the armory slots but i did uh, so next we have the Copper Ranger Schematic. Again, another weapon that you can pull from Llamas. If you really want it, it's an okay weapon. The Copper Jackal as well. If you have the Outlanders to give you the pistol advantage, that's great. <sighs> Swordmaster Ken. All right. Um, you know what? Let's leave Swordmaster Ken to the very end. The Wall Launcher. Uh, this one's also going to be around for the event. It's a good weapon. If you want it, that's great. Survivor. I'm going to get the Survivor right now because you know what? Legendary Survivors are always necessary and awesome in this game. So, uh, I don't even know. Oh, does it? It doesn't tell me which one I got. Nope. It doesn't tell me which one I got. Okay, so we're going to have to go see which one we got. Uh, the Defender Bruiser, I don't need it, so I'm not going to get it. If you need a good Legendary Defender, that's worth it. Uh, rare Schematic, again, not. I don't really think it's worth 400, coin, uh, 400 uh, gold. And just like that, I'm all the way down to 611 gold again. So, let's go check my Survivor first. New Survivors, I just got myself... I don't know who I got. It could have been any of these. Well, I'm going to hope that it was, well, nope, not a single one that has, uh, I need legendary survivors with, um, with melee or range. Okay. <sighs> okay. So I didn't get anything. All right. Let's finish off by talking about sword master Ken. So. Do I feel bad or sad that I spent 250 of my flux to get him? No, I don't, guys. Because, and this is something very important, um, gold is easy to farm. 
Okay, gold is easier to farm. And actually, believe it or not, I want another one. I want two of these. I want one, not one for my collection book. I want one in my... Uh, I want one. I want both of them in my squad, actually, because because his bonus is five wins cut. And we discovered today that no one else has five wins cut. I want to run one in my main and I want to run one in my secondary slot. Yes, you heard right. So I'm going to get this one. If I can get 4000 more gold, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him as soon as possible. Maybe today and tomorrow I could even, you know, Maybe today and tomorrow I could actually just grind enough to get the 4,000, you know? I want another one. And the other way that you can get one of these right now is through the collection book, which is what I did, which again, guys, I am not sad or unhappy that I did it because if you get this one for recruiting him, it costs you 300 training manos and 250 legendary flux. As you guys can see, I'm already on, actually, I almost want to just do it from here. Because 250 Legendary Flux and 300 Training Manuals, I don't think I'm going to be using the Legendary Flux for anything else. I open enough Llamas that I get a lot of stuff. I don't really think I have anything that I want to level up, but it's always good to have the Flux saved up just in case. Especially if you get like... um event weapons that you want to take from Epic to Legendary. That's the only thing that I would recommend to save Flux for. But in my case... I'm really wanting to put another Swordmaster Ken in my first slot. Again, why? Because of that, five wins cut. Five wins cut, double, okay, so a five wins cut on top of a regular five wins cut, it's going to be absolutely wonderful. I can't wait. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I actually think that's what I'm going to be running two of them. So if I can get the 4,000 gold soon enough, I will be purchasing him as well. So... Oh, and if you like ninjas, yes, I totally recommend him. I think he's awesome. It's a mythic. It's a mythic hero for gold, for seasonal gold. Of course. It's totally worth it. I think it is. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Uh, there is no llama worth opening for me right now. I'm. Uh, you guys know I'm saved. Actually, you know what? I have one saved up. I have a trap one saved up. So you guys you guys get a free llama opening at the end. Didn't really... Wasn't really much. Uh... <laughs> I'm going to save my upgrade llamas. I'm saving my mini reward llamas if I need gold. Road trip llamas, you guys know, I'm going to be saving them. I, I already opened my first 20. I think that I'm going to save and see how many road trip tickets I can get during this event, this entire season. And remember, it's the road trip. It's not challenge the horde. There's probably going to be different aspects and different events coming during this road trip event because that's what we're in right now. So anyway. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I am DUJ2. This has been Fortnite talking about the loot event, the event items, and the weekly items. Kind of just doing this. I'm going to be doing this every week now. Just kind of giving you guys my, you know, my opinion on it, what we're getting. And I love the fact that we're going to be calling it loot, weekly loot, week one. Like version 5.0, week one. I love it. Like, okay, you know the title is going to be? It's going to be Fortnite PvE loot or loot tab version 5.0 week one i love it as always guys if you enjoyed this video please 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 do me a gigantic favor guys and have yourself a wonderful day thanks a lot for watching i really appreciate it see ya